What is really good, 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 my dudes? I thought I'd do something a little different and give you a quest guide. So, in the light of recent events, I thought I'd do my quest guide on the most recent quest, the Gower quest. So, stay tuned and enjoy. Hope it's informative. Hope it fi helps you finish the quest. To begin the quest, talk to the Gower brothers in their home southeast of the Varrock Lodestone. The first thing you need to do is create a Cabbage Speak Amulet. Search the food trough in the rat pit for the broccoli root. Use the spitting wheel in their house to turn it into broccoli string. Search the water barrel just outside the front of the house for a Brussels sprout. Search the scarecrow near the jumping cabbages for a cruciferous mounting. Combine that with the Brussels sprout and combine that with the broccoli string. Now search the crate in the western part of the house for a pure essence. Right click the essence to flip it over to discover a life root. Add it to the amulet and wear it. Talk to the cabbages and find out they want party hats. Talk to the brothers for the hats, then return to the cabbages. After the cabbage joins you in your inventory, talk to the brothers for a disc of returning. Now make your way to the Dwarven Mines. At this location, scan your disc of returning. The room will be all black. Find the table in the center of the area, search it for some rocks. Then right click and look under it for an orange. Use the rock on a wall you'll find to the left of the table. Eat the orange for a key. Use the key on the bumpy wall to the right of the room. Use the tinder box you receive on the scary wispy thing. Pick up the skull that's now on the ground. Use it on the unusual shape to the left of the room. And go through the doorway that appears. Talk to the dwarf to be allowed into the behind the scenes. Once there, speak to the spider to find out about the life altar. You will need to collect three pieces to fix it. For the first piece, talk to Lucian behind the spider at the back wall. Enter the central bank portal. Talk to the bank teller. Then talk to the guard watching the vault. Then click on the vault door. You will now need to assemble a team. They are all located in front of the spider in the main room. Guthix, Romeo, Tim and Crunchy, and the Penguin. First talk to Guthix asking to help with the bank. Then talk to the cabbages behind the bar. Then return to Guthix and he will join you. Talk to Romeo. Then talk to each of the five God War bosses. Then return to Romeo and he will join. Next talk to Tim and Crunchy. Then you want to talk to the bartender for five teas. Talk to each environmental artist around the bar and give them each a tea. Once you've done that, return to Tim and Crunchy and they will finally join you. Lastly, all you have to do is talk to the penguin and he'll gladly join you. Return to the bank in the big portal. Talk to the teller. Romeo will distract her. Then you want to talk to the vault guard and Guthix will go ahead and distract him. Then click on the vault door. Tim and Crunchy will help you there. Then enter the vault and try to open the chest. The penguin will then help you there. Finally, search the chest and you'll receive the first piece of the light altar. Now you want to return to the main area and talk to the Chaos Elemental. He will tell you about the second piece. Enter the Grand Exchange portal and then attempt to repair it. This puzzle looks complex but it is very easy. The pipes need to connect from left to right. And all you have to do is make sure that each pipe matches the size of all parts in the pipe. 
So all the fat pipes need to stay together, all the medium, and all the skinny ones need to stay together. It should be pretty straightforward after you realize that. Once you've completed, you'll get the second life altar piece. Return to the main room and go and find Thok and ask him about the life altar. Then you want to enter the beta portal next to him. Talk to Max and he'll ask you to max out three beta skills for the final piece of the life altar. Enter the first door and train the riding skill. Simply just copy the poses that the tutor is doing at the time. He randomly changes poses from time to time, so just pay attention. Once you've got that 99, enter the next door and train the sailing skill. Enter a boat and level up by spam clicking a battleship to fight it, or you can search the bubbles and search the deserted islands for more XP. Keep doing this until you're 99 here. Finally, in the last room, you want to train your bank standing skill. Simply stand in one place while in the bank, and you'll just start gaining XP. Your character will automatically try to walk out, but all you have to do is click back in the bank and continue standing. Once you are done and 99 in all three skills, talk to Max and he'll give you the last piece. Now you're about to enter a boss fight, so gear up as needed. Enter the life altar portal and investigate the life altar. The Black Knight Titan will appear. All you have to do is fight him. He will keep respawning several times, so just keep fighting him down. If you're a lower level, I highly recommend bringing food because he can hit pretty decently against those middle tier players, so be careful for that. Either way, just keep chipping out away his HP until you get a cutscene to show. Eventually, the Gower brothers will come to help you out. Fight the boss three more times. There's no new mechanics here, just keep withering away at his HP like you have been before the Gower brothers came. Bear in mind that on the third time, his attack speed increases dramatically, so be careful if you're a lower level. After you've defeated him for the last time, congratulations, you've completed the quest. Yo, thanks for watching. I hope that helped you finish the quest. And just uh, like and subscribe if it was really helpful. Got more coming at you. Peace. Thanks for watching, though.